Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop as the wind blows the cradle down. Hear that singing out there? It's called the legend of Rockabye Point. This all started aboard my ship 20 years ago. Well, sir, we just made a big haul of bluefin tuna. Now, polar bears like fish. So do little penguins. The cradle will fall, and I will come, baby, cradle and all. <laughs> rock a bye, baby, on the tree top. As the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the double breaks, the cradle will fall, and I will come, baby, cradle and all. Baby, on the treetop, at the mid road, the cradle will rock. When the river reached, the river will fall, and I will go, baby, cradle and all. Well, 
that's the story of Rockabye Point. And to this day, 20 years later, you can still hear him singing. Listen. Sing it to me again, will you, Charlie? All righty. Oh, rock a baby in a treetop. What have we here? A penguin behind enemy lines? Am I going to eat you? No, oh, no, no, heaven forbid! For you see, I am a vegetarian polar bear. We have sworn off all meat, my potbelly chum and I. So, you being just such a meat product yourself, are in no danger of becoming ordered in this facility. Tut, tut, there will be no squabbling. It could alert the enemy. Then all the glorious food in that hut would not become mine. No potato pie to be made from the mounds of spuds therein. No delicious banana nut bread. And uh, no way in without being minced to shish kebab cubes. Uh. What? Oh. <coughs> you destroy my element of surprise. <laughs> <laughs> How humiliating. Now you listen here, you. There will be no more of your willy-minded duckiness. Is that clear? <laughs> Oh, yes, 
fight another brilliant solution. <laughs> Now you listen here, you rutabaga rubber, you, <laughs> you horseradish highwayman. I demand my fair share of the spoils. <laughs> oh dear, not again. <laughs> ah, once more into the breach. <laughs> I must endure. Sergeant, I have good news. You'll be receiving your first recruit today. Sir, thank you, sir! I trust you'll be on guard at all times. Sir, I will, sir! Nothing will get by me. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yep, barracks are all squared away and... Hmm? What's this? Hmm, what do we have here? A pint-sized private. Hmm, must be the new recruit. A lazy recruit! <laughs> this ain't no summer camp! Pan! What? Hmm, you're a snappy dresser. But where's your uniform, little buddy? No uniform? There we go, all field dressed and ready for action. So, get on the field. Now! Move it, move it, move it! There. Only working soldiers get into the barracks now. And I can't think of a better task than digging foxholes. It's a fundamental of core training. So, start digging foxholes! That boy's gonna do me proud. Solid digging. Good dirt placement. This is more of a tunnel than a foxhole. Wait a minute. You slacker! You're gonna be a hard case, I can tell. And the only way to break a hard case is with hard work. Now put on your pack and march, soldier! You need to learn discipline. So, you can't leave this area until you do this. <laughs> but let's make it a little more interesting for you. Come on, son. 
Show me what you got! Way to be innovative, soldier. Mmm. Smells like the mess hall's cooking up something good today. I do not have to take this. I outrank him. You say that, soldier? Looks like a snowball, right? Well, it ain't. This is the core sacred weapon. The Skeeter Bomb. You turn this down, and ten seconds later, boom! A cloud of mosquitoes breaks out. It's the last thing the enemy would expect down here in the cold Antarctic. Skeeters. Now for a little target practice. Annihilate the target on the firing range. This is what the core is all about. No, 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 you missed the target entirely. You hit the bunker. to a place where sleeping is not an option, soldier! I am gonna personally make sure you do this exercise correctly. You'll be in my sight the whole time because you're jumping with me. Another two miles and we jump! Wait! What are you waiting for? Pull the card, soldier! I said pull the card! Standing that pig's command, I'm promoting you to base drill sergeant. I commend you on your bravery, soldier. Carry on, soldier. <sighs> New recruit, P-Bear, reporting for duty, Sarge. What are my orders of the day? <laughs> yes, sir, sir. Uh, right away, sir. world-renowned commercial fisherman, Smedley hook em and keep em the Salmon King. And I'm just about to reel in another big one. <laughs> well, I'll be. I ain't never seen a fish like you before. What are you, some kind of herring? A pike? A halibut? Hold on one more fleckin' minute. You ain't no fishy. You're a penguin. A self-respecting commercial fisherman always tosses back the little ones. Time for 
this angler to get back to the cannery with the catch of the day. Thinking. A world renowned fisherman and a pilot, too? Yup, I'm what you might call a Renaissance man. <laughs> it's kind of drafty up here in the wild blue yonder. Huh? Drafty and noisy. I'll just switch on the autopilot whilst I go have a little look see. Huh? Come back here, you little stowaway. This here's a non-penguin flight, so I'm sending you back home. Air mail delivery like. Huh? Hmm. Thought I had this baby flying perfectly level like. Now I know I've heard that sound before. Distant little penguin. Goodbye. A hard-working commercial fisherman needs nourishment to sustain his strength. I swear, it's getting so a man can't even have a moment's peace to enjoy the fruits of his labors. Stay out, you freeloading fish napper! <laughs> ah, nothing like rewarding yourself for a job well done, I always say. Will I be a Marlin's mama? I never knew penguins could fly. <laughs> yep, that boy is positively starting to fry my flounder. <laughs> and stay down this time, you little salmon swiper! Ten. Nine. Huh? Okay. One and lift off. You know, a skilled pilot sure would be lost without his trusty map. <laughs> Better employ my old fish flame splitter. Okay, you little seafood snatcher, the jig is up. You come back here and take what's coming to you, you tuxedo wearing varmint. That's funny. It almost feels like I'm running downhill. Holy mackerel! I plum forgot to turn on the autopilot. Uh-oh, I pulled the wrong lever. My precious cargo! I lost my precious cargo and nearly lost my plane. This is all your fault, penguin. I am gonna bait and hook you when we get down from here, boy. What the? Hey! Come back here, you little deserter! Oh, no, you don't. 
now. 